Hi, my name is Valeria Trivellone, and I'm going to introduce to you our ongoing project on insects in greatest conservation need. Researchers at Illinois Natural History Survey at U of I undertaken several studies on prairie in Illinois as they are valuable state's natural heritage. 99% of the original prairies in Illinois vanished and with them also several plant and animal species. Specific plans of conservation have been designed to restore prairies and provide suitable habitat for the species strictly associated with them. For this project, we focus on insects because they are one of the largest components of biodiversity, and still few studies have been carried out in Illinois. We visited about 100 nature preserves across the state, which include tall grass prairies, wet prairies, St. Savannah, and bluff prairies. Our project has three specific goals. The first one is to document the status of conservation priority species. My name is Abby Pagels, and I have been assisting this research project this season. I have been traveling to sites across Illinois and documenting the butterfly species in greatest conservation need. I also check their host plants for larvae and assess the status of the habitat in which they need to survive. Common and widespread butterfly species do not require any conservation actions. We study endangered species like the charismatic mono butterfly, which is completely dependent on milkweed for its survival. The rig of fritillary butterfly is another iconic species, which is critically threatened in Illinois. Many factors may be involved in its decline. Leafhoppers are another group of endangered insects in Illinois. Here are two of them, Flexia rubranura and Limotetis truncatus. Hanover Bluff, a beautiful hill prairie in Illinois, and we are collecting vegetation data and insect data to assess habitat management. Today we're collecting the vegetation data. You can see our transect, our plot, and we are collecting um, species richness and percent cover for all the plants. Uh, and we hope to combine the insect and the vegetation data to assess how habitat management, in particular fire, uh, is affecting insects. Third objective is to assess whether restored sites support populations of insect species of conservation concern. To do this, we use a device called a bug bag to obtain samples of insects from each site. This is a gasoline-powered leaf blower with a fine mesh net bag attached to the end of the intake nozzle. By vacuuming along a transect through the dense, low-growing, grassy vegetation typical of our native prairies, we capture insect specimens representative of the species present at each site. Most insect species cannot be identified reliably in the field, so after vacuuming, we empty the net bag into a phototactic extractor that separates the insects from the plant debris and preserves the specimens in alcohol. We then return the samples to the lab where we sort and identify the species present. And if you want to know more about our project, please feel free to email us.